In this video, I share with you the best method to use with your small team. And it's called Kanban and it's super easy to use. Hi, I'm Linnea. I help female entrepreneurs streamline their businesses so that they can get more time for what really matters. If you're interested in that, go to the description below. Kanban means signboard or billboard in Japanese and it was developed in Toyota so for the car manufacturing industry, but it's used today in all different industries in the whole world. So I've used it myself in product development, in development of services, in sales, in customer care. You can use it just anywhere because it's a, such a simple method and it's very visual. So let's dig in. But first I would like to tell you that I have a free download. Uh, you'll find that in the description below. So if you're really interested into uh, how to get more productive, make sure that you grab that. I love Kanban because it's so visual. So normally you use a whiteboard for it and you put three columns. It's the um, to do, the ongoing and the done. But those can vary depending on what type of work you're doing. So if you're like in, um, in product development, it could be the ideation stage, the evaluation stage and the implementation stage, something like that. But if we just stick to the uh, to do, the ongoing and the done, you either you use a whiteboard and you put sticky notes on the whiteboard where you write down the tasks that that you will do in your business and then during your daily stand up with your team you will move the tasks so it's only once per day when everybody's together that you will actually move the, the sticky notes from one column to the next with a short explanation on what is ongoing and especially if you are in the um, in the middle column where it's ongoing this is a great method to really nail down what are the issues why do we have things ongoing and we don't finish them because we should try and finish things as quickly as possible to increase our productivity there are three main advantages to using this method in your small business the first one is that it's really a visual method so anybody can understand it. It's a visual way to show where you are at, how you are working. So it's a great way to get your team together and really focus on, on what you are delivering together as a team. The second thing is that it helps reduce your work in progress. Also because it's a visual method, of course. Uh, so you can see um, we want to reduce work in progress because that's one of the main keys to create a highly productive team. So in the column in the middle, uh, the ongoing, we want to reduce those posts that we have there. Either by moving them to done, like helping uh, your team, the team members helping each other to complete tasks or even move back to, to do. Maybe it's a task that you cannot complete at the moment. Then there's no point in you know, working a little bit on it every day. Then it's better to put it back to the to do uh, column. The third thing is that it really improves the overall flow of activities in your business. So it gets so visual that you, uh, you shouldn't have activities ongoing for a long time. So the middle line shouldn't include a lot of posts. You'd always, always try and finish things before you start new activities. So don't move from anything from to do into the ongoing. If you don't at the same time, move things from ongoing to the done. So it, um, you want to avoid stops, you want to avoid activities staying in the ongoing line for a long time. And this will improve your overall flow, which is the key to creating a highly performing team. Let me know in the comments below if this was totally new to you or if you have already used it for some, for some work and what type of work. I would love to know. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please do that and enable the notification so that you get notified every time I release a video on how to become more productive in your small business. Wishing you a wonderful day. 